it's Holly. Today is going to be a little bit different. So I've been a partner with Japan Crate for a while now. I've been doing Japan Crate boxes, Doki Doki boxes, and they have a third box called the Kira Kira Crate. I was hesitant to do it because it is a beauty box and I am in no way, shape, or form a beauty channel or a makeup channel or anything related to the sort because I am awful at makeup. But I really wanted to try it out. I've been watching Miss Trinity 143's videos on these boxes and she cannot stop talking about how great they are. So I really, really wanted to give it a try. So even though I know like absolutely nothing about beauty, I really wanted to give it a shot. So let me know if you guys want me to continue to review these and watch me be confused about probably what's in here. But I'm really excited about it. So let's go ahead and get started. I will put the link to where you can get this box down below in the description. So this is the box. It's really, really cute and a nice teal color. This is the pan pamphlet that it comes with. Super cute. Looks like ice cream. First thing in here is this absolutely giant bottle. This is super duper heavy. It says fresh serum to the last drop lead to glowing skin for oily skin. This is a really big bottle. This says in the middle of winter it's more important than ever to keep your face moisturized but no one likes an oily product. This light moisturizer will have your skin glowing and feeling refreshed in no time flat. I'm gonna open everything that's in the box first and then we'll get to trying some of these and I'm kind of scared. The next thing in here is this eyeshadow and it's really, really prettily packaged with a rose design on it. Look sweet this Valentine's Day with shadow colors that look like Neapolitan ice cream. Mm. Whether you're going out with friends or with an SO. What's an SO? Special other? Oh, significant other. Huh, okay. This palette will have you feeling your prettiest. Okay, all of the little brushes flew out. So these are the four colors that you get. They're really, really pretty. And then you get two little brushes that I just dropped on the ground. So that was good. So let me like swatch these for you guys. I've never done a swatch before. Wow, those are very pigmented. I watch beauty videos. I know the words to say. These are the colors that I swatched very awkwardly on my hand that I can't show you now. <laughs> I swatched them in such an awkward place that I like can't show you now. But look at that brown. That brown is like super dark and pigmented. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if anything, we'll just like, I'll do these videos just to laugh at how like stupid I am with beauty stuff. And I just dropped the brush again. So yes, these colors are very, very pretty. It kind of gives you like a guide on how to put this on, which I definitely need because I am clearly not capable of doing such things. So maybe I'll try to do that later. The next thing in here is this, and I've seen Estrella do these before in her videos. It always makes her lips like super plump and moisturized. So I'm really kind of excited and also scared to try this. It's basically like a big thing that you put on your mouth and it makes your lips good. Moist lip pack. Mmm, there's like chocolate drizzling. This is banana chocolate scented, which is kind of exciting. I love that the theme is like food and desserts. Like, I can get behind that. So, I will be trying this. Next is this, and this scares me especially. This is liquid liner, which, girl, I can barely do regular liner, let alone liquid liner. But this one is pink, which is a little bit pricey. I don't know if I would ever wear pink eyeliner but we should try it out I think so let me like put a little bit on my hand oh, okay so it's like a little paintbrush oh crap that is very dark I was kind of expecting it to be like a lighter pink it's a very very dark pink which actually means that it'll probably look a lot better than I was thinking because I was thinking of like a pastel pink on my eye and I don't think that would be a good look for me but this actually doesn't look bad, so maybe I'll try this out later with the eyeshadow and my eyes will just look like ice cream. Who doesn't want their eyes to look like ice cream? Because I do. Ooh! Next is this, and this is strawberry chocolate scented lip cream. This packaging is so, so cute. This is absolutely adorable. It has like a chocolate drizzle on it. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, I want to eat it. Oh, it has such a nice strawberry chocolate scent. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it smells like, it doesn't even smell like artificial strawberry, it smells like real chocolate strawberries. Like I actually made chocolate covered strawberries for Valentine's Day and this smells exactly like that. Oh. 
This is really, really nice lip balm. It goes on really smooth and it feels very moisturizing. I love and it smells so good. The next thing in here is this packet of powder. After a long day out, this citrus ginger bath soak can help relieve fatigue by enhancing blood circulation, leaving your muscles and joints loosened and relaxed. So I will be trying this on my own time and not on video because that would be really weird. Then lastly in this box is a face mask and I've actually never done a face mask before because I don't know why, but I'm really, really excited to try this and also again, very scared. This one is gold. It says gold essence mask. It has vitamin E, collagen, hyaluric acid, ceramide three. I don't know what that is. February is a month all about love and treating yourself. What better way to celebrate it than giving your skin some pampering? Okay, uh, let's get to beauty. I just want to preface this by saying that I have no idea what I'm doing. So just so that's out of the way, I've taken off my makeup, what little makeup I had on. And I think I'm gonna start with the face mask and then after that, try to do my eye makeup. So it says we need to put this on our face and leave it for like 15 minutes, so. It smells very clean. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Again, never have done this before. So this is what it looks like. Um. very slimy. Well, I'm disappointed that this is not made out of gold, but whatever. Oh God, it's very slimy. How do you undo this? It's like a puzzle. Okay, now that I've gotten slime all over me. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of terrifying, not gonna lie. Guess I should take my glasses off. Oh god, okay, they went on the floor, that's fine. Here we go. Oh, it's cold, oh, it's cold, oh! I feel like I'm being turned into a mummy. Oh god. Oh, it's cold. Oh. Oh, it's cold, oh! Wow, I look amazing in this. Oh my god, it's so cold. I'm such a baby. <clears throat> now, it says that you're supposed to not wash your face after this, which I don't know if that is okay with most people, but that sounds really gross to me because my hands are already like covered in this slime and I can just imagine my face feeling like that and I'm gonna wanna wash it off. So it's gonna be really hard for me to just rub it in like it says to do. Oh my gosh. I look so scary right now. Like if my husband saw me right now, I wonder what he would do. I should like text him a picture of this. Okay, well I guess now I just have to sit around looking like a mummy for like 15 minutes. This is so strange. Oh my gosh. Are these flaps supposed to be on the inside or the outside? I don't know. So weird. Uh, okay, it's time now to take this off. I'm so ready to take it off. I really dislike having a weird big thing on my face. I know a lot of people do these in the bathtub, so maybe I'll try that next time, but let's go ahead and peel it off because I am so ready. Ah, that feels so much better. So it says that you're supposed to like rub in the remaining liquid, but honestly, I'm having a hard time thinking that I'm not gonna just wanna, like I really wanna wash my face. But I'm gonna try to just rub in what's left. It's so slimy though, ugh. How do people not wanna wash this off? I can't really tell an immediate difference in my skin right now, but we'll see how it feels after a while. It does, it has a nice light smell though, it's not very strong. Okay, now it's starting to dry, it feels much better. Okay, now I kinda wanna do the lip one. Where are my glasses? 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the lip one because I just want to see what it's gonna be like that one also says you need to leave it on for a while though the instructions say you can leave it on anywhere from 5 to 30 minutes so maybe I'll just do like 10 minutes or something just to start out with since I've never done this before oh my gosh that smells so good it really does smell like chocolate banana that is crazy Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So my lips have been super duper dry this winter. Even though California doesn't get quite as dry as I'm used to in Texas, it's still been quite dry. My lips are super chapped. So I'm really excited to see if this is going to super duper moisturize. So this is what it looks like, a little jiggly lip. So I'm just gonna put this on my lips and then wait a while and see what happens. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh. Do I feel like my lips are more moisturized? Maybe, sort of, kind of? I didn't like having this on. I felt like it didn't stick as well as like the, the face mask did. So, I don't know. It definitely smelled really good. I would say that this lip balm, uh, which smells amazing, is more moisturizing than the actual thing. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how much this smells exactly like real chocolate covered strawberries. Mm. Okay, now I wanna try to do my eyes. And I have a feeling this is gonna go very, very badly, but YOLO. Okay, so there is a little bitty chart on here that tells you where to put on your eye because I obviously don't know what the heck I'm doing and I need guidance. So, the first thing is to put the darkest brown color on the lower part of my lid. Oh, that's very dark. Okay, maybe, sure. Uh, that was a failure. Oh my gosh, why am I so bad? Um, that looks hideous. This is why I don't have a beauty channel. Okay, well, that's as good as that's gonna go. Ooh, this color is very pretty. I really like the sparkly light color. Okay. I feel like I'm not doing this right at all. And I just got gold glitter all over me. This is very, very glittery. I don't know if you can see that shine right there. Well, that was a disaster. I don't know if you can really tell, but the colors are really, really pretty. I just obviously don't know how to apply them very well. I am gonna try to put the pink on top of it, which is probably gonna look really, really awful, but such is my life. Are you supposed to put eyeliner on over the eyeshadow? I would assume so, right? Okay, pray for me. Um, okay. I don't think I've ever used liquid eyeliner before. Yum! Look at that, so pretty, really not at all. Do you like the little wing I did? Why is it like hurting my eye? I kind of feel like it's burning. Is it supposed to burn? Oh my gosh, that looks so bad. I feel like it's like burning my eyes, like ow, like why is it burning me? Ow, I need to go take this off. But this is what it, the pink eyeliner looks like that I completely messed up. Yay! Oh, so I don't know what happened, but that eyeliner made my eyes burn. And I don't know if that is normal or I'm assuming it's not. I don't know what's in this. Everything is in Japanese, but it really hurt my eyes. So hopefully it won't do that to you because that really hurt. 
Lastly, I'm going to try to put some of this on since I ended up washing my face. This smells interesting. It's very, very liquidy. It looks like water. I guess you just put it on your face. It smells very clean. I think this is just a regular moisturizer. Which is great for when your skin is dry. So yes, that is everything in my very first Kira Kira Crate. And I hope that this was an entertaining video because it was definitely very interesting for me to do not being very well versed in beauty products and makeup products. But I am really, really happy with everything. I really, really love the lip balm. It's probably my favorite thing in this um, box. And I am excited to try the bath salts because I really like baths. So yes, if you're interested in getting this box, I will put the link down below in the description. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you want me to keep doing these videos. And I will talk to you later. Bye.